What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can wirelessly transfer photos and videos between any iOS device. In this example I'll be using the iPhone 5 and the iPad, I hope you enjoy. So the only additional thing you will need for this process to work is an application called Photo Transfer App. You can find this in the App Store and the link will be in the description below. Once you have downloaded the application Photo Transfer app, you will want to open it up on each device. And the great thing about this app, it's really easy to use, and not only can you use it between iOS devices, but you can also use it between Windows computers, Apple computers, and like I say, other iOS devices. So it's really a great app. After that, you're going to want to make sure that both your iPhone and iPad or whatever iOS devices you are using are on the same Wi-Fi network. So in this example, say I want to send some photos that I took on my iPhone to my iPad. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to go into send, and then you want to obviously going to click another device. And then here you go and select the photos that you want to send, or videos even. So I'll go in here and I will go to my Disneyland Paris album, and I can go ahead and really simply tick all the ones that I want. There's also an option to select all if you want to. And this is really great because say for example I want to show my family these pictures then obviously I can't show them on the small screen of the iPhone so I want to show them on the iPad. So this is perfect. So just for this example I'll select 10 photos. Then you close that and you can see there as a summary it says 10 photos and 0 videos selected. So that's all ready to go. So you saw how easy that was just to select the photos I want to send on my iPhone to my iPad. Now on the iPad, once you're in the photo transfer app, you want to press receive. And again, you want to receive from another device in this instant. And then it will try and find the iPhone. So once your iPad or whatever iOS device you are using has found the other iOS device, it will pop up right here if you can see. It has recognised my iPhone. And then you're going to want to press Get Photos and Videos. So you do that. And you can see there also on my iPhone, it now confirms that I'm connected to my iPad. So that's just some extra confirmation there. Then here is where you go and transfer. Now before you transfer, it's going to automatically transfer obviously onto your camera roll. But uh, in this situation, you can also make a new folder. So let's do that now. So just by pressing the add button up here, you can create a folder, let's call it Paris, okay, and press create. Now we are ready to transfer, so we press the transfer button, and there we go. Now you can see on my iPhone and my iPad, in, on both devices it's showing a progress On the iPhone you can actually see the physical picture going into the iPad, right there. So here we are transferring 10 photos, and I'd say it does each photo probably in about 3 seconds or so. So it really is quick, and you can imagine sending a whole album of your holiday it would be a really quick process. and. Uh, would be perfect. So that is now done and it says success on your iPad and you press OK. So the photos from my iPhone have been successfully transferred onto my iPad but let's just double check that they have. So we'll go into my photo application and right here you can see that in that photo app we have successfully made that album as well and in full quality here you can see the photos from my Paris holiday have successfully transferred onto my iPad in full HD quality from the iPhone. And you saw how quick that process was. If this video has helped you and you have gone on to go and get that photo transfer app, remember to give me a thumbs up and just make sure you're subscribed for lots more Apple and iOS videos. I hope you enjoyed.